Hey guys, what's going on? It's Carl here coming at you guys with another video. Today we are comparing the latest of the Nexus devices. We've got the Nexus 5X, the mid entry level device, and the flagship, the Nexus 6P. We'll start off with some physical differences, a bit of the design, and then we will go into a head to head comparison, speed testing, a couple little benchmarks to see which device, which Nexus, Nexi, is that plural? Is worth your hard earned cash. Let's get into it. Let's kick things off with pricing and get that out of the way. First, the Nexus 5X retails for $379 for 16 gigs, whereas the 6P retails for $499, but that's double the storage at 32 gigs. Switching off into makers, we've got the 5X being made by LG and the 6P being made by Huawei, a Chinese manufacturing company, makes solid phones, but maybe not as well known here in North America. On the backs, we have 12.3 megapixel shooters, the 5X being very decent in good lighting conditions, obviously low light, not as good. The 6P, one of the best cameras that I've used to date, and I'm gonna place it second to the iPhone 6S, which does say a lot. Display-wise, naturally the 5X has the smaller 5.2 inch 1080p display, whereas the 6P has the 2560 by 1440, 5.7 inch display. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you guys my bias. I'm a bigger fan of naturally bigger displays, which means bigger phones, which means bigger battery life, which is what the 6P has at 3450 milliamp hours compared to 2700 found on the 5X. Another reason to consider the 6P is the actual build quality and wrapping around the entire device is all metal, which gives it a nice premium heftier feel in the hand compared to the 5X, which is all plastic and it's a tad bit too light to hold, but Google does market it as a lightweight device. Getting to internals and performance, the 5X has slightly lower specs. It's got the Snapdragon 808, Adreno 418 GPU, and two gigs of RAM, opposed to the 6P, which has the Snapdragon 810 chip, Adreno 430 GPU, and three gigs of RAM. And that was reflected earlier on the Geekbench 3 scores, but in actual real world use and head to head comparisons in terms of performance, in my makeshift speed test, both of the phones perform so similarly, you couldn't really tell the difference. Maybe slightly longer loading times on the 5X, but I think having Marshmallow 6.0 and stock Android makes both of these devices top performers, and it'll come down to other things such as camera performance, build quality, price, which will be the main determining factors on which of these devices you should buy. And you can see as we go through the rest of this speed test, for example, Google Maps, pinching to zoom is just as responsive on both devices. Twitter launches at almost the exact same time, maybe 0.1 seconds faster on the 6P, but scrolling up and down has no issues with any sort of lag. And that's really competitive when comparing it to the likes of the Galaxy S6, the S6 Edge Plus, any Samsung device or any Android device in general and that is a testament to how good stock Android is and why I am the biggest fan of Nexus devices. Both of these are highly recommended. And if I were to ever make the switch over from team iPhone, I know don't flame me down below in the comments, I would definitely pick one of these devices as my go-to daily smartphones. That was my heads up comparison of the Nexus 5X against the 6P. Just taking a look at the pricing, if you get the 32 gig model of this, this only becomes $70 more. Shell out that extra money, in my opinion the 6P is a way better device, but let me know which one you would prefer down below in the comments. Maybe this will be a giveaway. I gave the iPhone 6S some love, now time to give some Nexus and Android devices some love also. If you guys want to see that happen, make sure you go crazy over on that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will catch everyone else in my next episode. Peace!